I'm Liza DeGia of Chow.com with this week's New York Chow Report. Past the northernmost footpaths of Central Park in Harlem, you'll find Amy Ruth's, a minimally decorated casual restaurant that's been feeding guests homestyle southern cuisine since 1999. This is where I go when I'm craving a good fried chicken and waffles. Sister Jeanette, the head chef, says praying before she cooks is her secret. True soul food. It's probably why her chicken and waffles recipe is so famous. In fact, they go through over 2,000 whole chickens a week. First, cut chicken gets washed in a vinegar, water, and salt mixture before coating it with a special seasoning. Another house secret. Then goes into a fridge to marinate overnight. The key to building flavor. The next day, the chicken pieces are lightly dredged in flour and deep fried in soybean oil. Their waffle ingredients are no surprise. Flour, eggs, water, oil, and a touch of vanilla. But the key to the batter is the mixing and resting time. They mix it for an unusually long time, about 30 minutes, to develop creaminess. Then they let it sit for days in a fridge. When it takes on a lightness, it's ready to be poured into the waffle irons. And when the bell goes off, it's not yet done. You need a beat or two more. If not, Sister Jeanette says it'll taste doughy. When my plate arrives hot, tempting me with a mixed aroma of salty and sweet, all I ever think is, oh yeah. The chicken is tender, well brined and salty, the skin is nice and crispy, and the waffles have a delicate crunch to the outside and a sugary, super creamy lightness on the inside. For me, the more maple syrup and butter, the better. Because you see, feeding your soul should be fun. So come starving and leave full. You can walk the guilt off in the bark. Amy Ruth's is located at 113 West 116th Street in Harlem. For more dining recommendations, visit chow.com. I'm Liza DeGia of chow.com for food, drink, and fun.